Hey everyone, welcome back to the channel. My name is TBR Schmidt and this is my wife, Samantha. Hello. And today we are watching Ronin. What do you know about this movie? This one, our he he <laughs> heist poll yes. on Patreon. So we'd like to thank our patrons for voting for this to win our heist poll. Uh, and then this has Robert De Niro. I think that's all I know. Okay, I also know it has, shoot, I forgot his name, Gene something maybe? What movie? Leon. Oh, okay. One of my top movies, not the director's cut. Director's cut's weird, normal cut. Yes, yeah, we watched it on the channel for my first time and it was great. Yeah, the comments did say maybe, maybe it's this movie or I'm getting confused, uh, a good car chase. Okay. That's it. So heist, Robert De Niro, the other guy, car chase. <laughs> the other guy, it's so bad. <laughs> Um, but I'm really excited to watch this. We've watched a ton of De Niro on the channel and I'm excited to add to that De Niro series. Yeah, I feel like this has been a uh, a movie that's always been like on the fringe of being reacted to yeah. since like we started the channel. Yeah. So I'm super excited to actually experience this. Yeah, me too. So if you'd like to see the full length reaction for this as well as everything else that we've reacted to, the link to our Patreon is in the description. If you'd like to interact with us on our Twitch, Twitter, or Instagram, all those links are in the description as well. And with that, let's get into the movie. Interesting. I put on the right movie? Yeah, I'm like, what's happening? Oh, okay. I've heard of this before. I think this came up when we were watching Seven Samurai. Yeah, seven, one of them was a Ronin, I believe, or all of them were. Never whatever. made that connection. There's also a movie called 47 Ronin, I think, with Keanu Reeves. We saw a, a few parts of it, I think. Mm. He's older than I thought he was going to be in this. So probably like mid 90s or yeah. something like that. Oh. oh. Where have we seen her? Oh, definitely Truman Show. Something on the channel though. There he is. Does he already have a gun in his hand? Yeah, name? that's what it looked like. Yes, I think we were wrong. <laughs> What's going on in this bar? Scare me. <laughs> Just him coming outside? Yeah, the door opening. Okay, save that for later. Ça fait rien, monsieur. Juste un petit verre. All right, so he unlocked that. Yeah, he's like setting the stage. I wonder if the three of them. Oh. Okay, everyone's packing heat. I wonder if those three guys are all working together. I said, why are you rushing off? Comprends pas. The man in the wheelchair. The man in the wheelchair? What? What's going on? Too many accents. What were you doing back here? I never walk into a place I don't know how to walk out of. What the fuck is going on? <laughs> was the van that she got dropped off on in. Yeah, no, I think you're right, right? Maybe there's a lot of vans like that. No. <laughs> I'm wrong. <laughs> I definitely thought they were going to start shooting at each other in the bar. Well, they're all working together. I don't think they've met each other yet, though. No. So they're all Ronin. Ah, I see what you're saying. And this is a Skarsgård, I think. This guy? Yeah. You'll hear his voice. Thanks for coming. What's the job? There are some people who have something we require. It's involved shooting? We'll tell you more tomorrow. What a cast already. You ever kill anybody? I hurt somebody's feelings once. <laughs> oh, I know you. I don't think so. Looks like he remembers. Uh-oh. Yeah, I don't like that music change. You labor of management. If I was management, I wouldn't have given you a cigarette. What do I call you? My name is Vincent. 
Sam. What were those names? <laughs> Versa and Sam. On the successful completion of the mission, you will each receive a bonus of $20,000. This is what we're after. Vincent. Vincent. What's in the case? Our plan in the broad strokes is an ambush. It's to hit the car. What's the case? We'll start with this. Ambush and assault on two to three vehicles. Five to eight men. Tell Vincent what it is you'll need. Was so vague. Yeah. Where are we going and how are we getting back from there? It'll be in France and the group will disband at the RV point. So what do you favor? Oh, you know, it's a toolbox. I don't care. You put the tools in for the job. What's he writing? Oh, I actually favor the old 1911. Old gun. Served my country well. Nothing too well though, have you? Must be worse. Perhaps not, but at least we don't go around whining about it. <laughs> I'm sorry, but I'd like to do it backwards. The line of retreat is... She just told you. You worried about saving your own skin? Yeah, I am. Wouldn't you? I'd like some new clothes. Vincent will search you out. I'll take care of it. Damn, this guy just gets everything. And they have no information. Man in the wheelchair. How did he get there? Seems to me that was in your neck of the woods. So they were hired by a man in a wheelchair? What the? Oh. Test. Good reflex. Oh yeah, they die hard. What the hell do you do? You don't exchange for cash? Aye. You know these people? I people know them. There's no information. The answers to your questions I'll know when I get back. I'll go with you. Go with them. Is someone gonna get betrayed here? Everyone is so sketchy. Ooh. Who's this girl work for? Creepy. Waiting for someone to die. Well, it's a waiting game. Mm. Would oh, you do that? Would you not do that, please? I know you're in the car then. Bad for the night vision, yeah. Seems very nervous. Oh, I was <laughs> like, where? Where are you? <laughs> You have the list? Yes, I have it. Give it to me. You follow my lead. Your lead? Your Just make yeah. sure you wash my back. I... <laughs> you already look like you're panicking. Why not? Vincent. What? No, we're here. What are we missing? Yeah, get it up. Don't I go to you. I'll be clear He said the rest is in the other car. Did I pass? Oh, I don't like a second car. Okay, give me give me some of the money. This guy is too jumpy. Dude, chill. I mean, we know he's gonna die. He dies in every movie. <laughs> well, well, why do they want you in there? What are you crazy? You know, you think so hard. Nobody ever told me that before. But I wouldn't go in there. No. Get next to one of those guys. If there's a sniper, he'll be afraid to shoot his own guy. Let's go. All right. Oh fuck. Please get this stuff. Right? I still was it. Ooh. Oh, sniper. Hey. Fuck. Oh, man. Fuck it up so much. Uh oh, we gotta go. Let's go. No, you're Run, Sean. How are they gonna get out? Uh, forward, oh, they're blocking I guess. the bridge now? Or the tunnel? I guess not. Anybody hurt? <laughs> Anybody hurt? We're fine. Damn, they got out of there without getting hit? Job well done! That's a fight! That's a fight! So they got the money and the guns. Not all the guns, and they still gotta get away. Slow down, slow down, slow down. Act normal. Grow up. You're kryptonite. I don't think he's ever been in a gunfight before. No, he was very anxious. And he'd asked if he'd ever killed anyone before. Uh-oh. You? Where do I know you from? Case is in Nice. They're trying to sell it to the Russians. They're staying at the Villa Belmare. We need to move now. So the Russians want whatever is in this case. What's in the case? That information is necessary. Is it heavy? Is it explosive? It's going to be amateur night. I want $100,000. I want it in a bank account. I want another 100000 when you get the case. Negotiating in front of everyone, too? Everyone gets the same deal, then. 
Everyone's like, damn, are we getting a pay raise? We've got shooters here, shooters here. Draw it again. You're the ace field, man. Draw it again. What do you, what do, you do? What do you do that was weird? Car comes through here. Shooters across from each other, kill each other dead. Oh my, where'd you learn that? What's the color of the boathouse in Hereford? What's the color of the boathouse in Hereford? Who are you? Do something. Do something. Oh. Don't leave an ambush. I ambush you in a cup of coffee. Dude. He lied? Careful with that. The ambush with the coffee line killed me. <laughs> so what color is the boathouse at Hereford? There's no boathouse. How the fuck should I know? <laughs> so is he out? This will complete your compensation. Oh. Do I need to suggest that you forget us? Because we will not forget. I don't like this. I feel like he's gonna come back for some reason. Nice. <laughs> it's the city. <laughs> the city is- No, I know. <laughs> I was just saying it. <laughs> Yeah, I don't know. Like, is he too embarrassed? Is that the end of him? Or is he going to be the one to rescue them? Or like, I feel like it's not the end of him. Yeah, but I feel like it's not the end of him in a bad way. Bad way. He's going to somehow fuck things up. Because he does know where they're going. He mo knows plan. Yeah. But who's their employer if they didn't even properly vet this guy? How do you know he's going to use a cell phone? He'll use a phone. How do you know? I'm going to call him on it. How do you know he'll have it with him? He's waiting for a call. Let's go look at the ground. Bring some money. We're gonna do a little shopping. <laughs> Date night. You look good cleaned up. Oh. There we go. Oh, already? Just get it, get the case now. <laughs> Could you take a picture of me and my wife? It's very easy. You press like that. It's very easy. Sure. Oh. Like that. That's it. That was so smooth. Uh, how many do you want? Just snap away. Okay. Sorry. Again. <laughs> Smile, wife. Take a couple of my wife. Just take a couple of my wife. Alone. Interesting. What is that? Take one picture of you and my off. wife. One picture of you. <laughs> <laughs> oh. How many men? Yeah, wow, what a great recon. Guy goes for the case, other guy's protecting the principal. Nobody panics, they're good. You want the case, we're gonna need some more men. There's no more help, there's no more men. Are you afraid? Of course I'm afraid. You think I'm reluctant because I'm happy? <laughs> now Vincent get more men. That's what he does. Right? It was interesting that the person carrying the case seemed to also be like the boss guy. Like it wasn't just like a henchman who was handcuffed Holding, to it yeah. or something. It's not gonna happen today. The buyers are out of town. Tomorrow at the earliest. Well, that oh. gets you more time to find more guys. I was just gonna say that. I take the report, I got nothing else. I can go and see for myself and I don't go. Then what am I? They have the villa? I'll come with you. Oh. No one looks in. A wealthy scoundrel seduced and betrayed me. Same with me. <laughs> Uh-oh. Uh-oh. They got the map. They got the map. Just a couple of lost tourists. Need a job. That's my excuse. Is it? Cops. Oh. Sure. <laughs> <laughs> Suddenly the math wasn't good enough. <laughs> Did you see some cops? System check. Nice. He's being a good little boy. He's activated his phone. Nice. Yeah. <laughs> gonna need a nice camera. <laughs> oh damn. I'm in position. <laughs> that was so aggressive. Guy only goes a hundred percent. So there's four. Four cars, not three. They're passing me now. The target is on the way. What are they going to ambush them with? I would have asked Vincent for a giant machine gun. <laughs> What's that? that? Explosive? Oh, he is handcuffed to the suitcase. Oh, he is? I, I think so. I didn't notice that. What do you want for Christmas? Uh, my two front teeth. They always be granted. 
Okay. Grenade launcher is pretty effective. This seems pretty populated. Yeah, real public. Yeah. Oh, wow. Did he change the lights? I think so. Target is 400 meters from the traffic light. So you're going to cause a car accident? Or just get them to stop at a red light. Or was he... Sp oh, I thought maybe they were splitting them up. Here we go. See you later, front car. Oh. Oh, fake gunshots. Two left. Shit. Oh, oh no. Sorry, the innocent. man. <laughs> so far, so good. Target on the right road. Damn, so far, so good. Seems like a lot of chaos. I mean, they're all alive still. Yeah. What is a click? I don't know, but he's got a fucking rocket launcher now. Oh. <laughs> oh my god. Holy crap. You need a straight line here. Oh. Damn. Right. You should see them in four seconds. Two cars. Well, one now, right? Oh, well, him. What? Oh. You're all alone, buddy. Pull over. <laughs> oh. Oh, damn, I thought he had him there. Come on, man. Uh oh Is there a road? <laughs> <laughs> you can cut him off at the end of the porch. Roger that. I got it. Come on, man. He's coming from the right. He's yours. Oh! Oh, <laughs> oh shit! Oh, my God! Oh, he did have a gun. Oh, they all got there. Oh, fuck him up. And he did ask for a giant machine gun. Chop Are that they going to have to cut off his arm? Yeah, probably. Oh, a little, oh. A little tiny bomb. Are they swapping it? Take the case! Right, the or is he? The car up the other end will meet you up there! Take no, the he's fucking them. Huh. Skarsgård just fucked them. Hey! That's the wrong. Case, the case. Is it a bomb? Oh. Wow. Where is Gregor? Gregor fucked us. Damn. So where did he go? I don't know. I think all those people showed up. But somehow he's either with those people. Because I don't know if those were cops or not. I don't know. Damn, I can't believe they got fucked over. That was a crazy sequence, though. Yes. There's cops everywhere. Should have known that Skarsgård would fuck him. Because what is someone with such good reflexes doing with, like, just navigating? And he should have thought further ahead. If that suitcase wasn't wet, they would have blown up. Yeah. How is it out there? A lot of heat, a lot of heat. Oof. Oof. I didn't see that he got hit. I presume to sell it to the Russians. Why the Russians? Why not you? If we had the money to buy the case, we wouldn't have hired you to steal it. <laughs> good, good point. Can we trace his cell phone? They can triangulate it if we had that equipment. Who has that equipment? Isn't that your job to get stuff? Was it in the van? Who has it? Give me the number to his phone. Are they getting Sam back? What, what was the guy's name? I don't know. Jim? Uh, Sean, Sean Bean? Sean. Who are you? <laughs> Is that the guy from the... No, from the escalator? That's no, not him, right? No. This was supposed to be a social occasion. The world these days is so unsafe. I'll show you how unsafe it is. What the hell is in this case? What are you doing? See that girl down there? Have you lost your mind? I don't know her, but I was ready to splatter our brains all over the playground, but you. Just imagine what I'll do to you if you try anything. What the hell? That's how you make that point? 
put down the gun. I feel like he could have been faster. Now where's my package? It's right behind you. He's too fast. Yeah. Ooh. Jeez. <laughs> Russians? Is that you, Gregor? Well, my sheer disappointment, no doubt. It was a mistake. It should not have happened. My price just went up 300%. 300%? I want the package, Gregor. What do I have to do to get it? Don't kill him. I'll find a place where I can tilt the field in my favor. Did you tell me how to find the post office? I need your help. I thought you left. I did leave. Oh, chaos. <laughs> What's the number? <laughs> Immediately. Yeah. Yeah, the post office is uh, just down your left. Up on the left, on the left. Thanks. All right, so he definitely has connections. Yeah. That fast? You think? No, it might be someone else. I don't know. Yeah, it's good to see you too. If his position changes, I'll let you know. Oh, shit. Oh, wow. Greg is in a town called Arl. Wow. What if that's like, um, not FBI or CIA or some sort of like undercover American mm. government agency or something that he probably used to be a part of. What a camera. Yeah, whoa. Is that the arena? They gonna uh, fuck up this drop? I know those men. That's good, at least they caught on to that. So now we will continue and uh, visit the Roman baths down this way. What are you doing here? Thank you, gentlemen. I'll do nicely. Mickey did it without consulting me. Yeah, he's turned rogue and can't be controlled. Is that it? There's so many people all wanting this case. Yeah. Uh, it's your chef, I, don't, uh, I don't. Oh, English. I was looking for Van Gogh's old house. But that's. Yeah, I'm confused. They should be on the same team, right? I think we'll meet your prize. Yeah, so let's see it. Let's see it now. Oh. You're great in the locker room, pal. And your reflexes might die hard, but you're weak when you put your spikes on. Gregor! <laughs> Gregor's fine. Mid oh. But I think you're in a wee spot of trouble. <laughs> a wee spot of trouble? Where Post is office box in Paris. He's Help! He's loving me! <laughs> Damn, fucking Skarsgård. Oh, what a oh, tackle! Shit. Oh my god, there's just too many people here. Oh, sorry. Fuck. Oh, damn it. Oh! Why did that guy already have blood on his hands, though, right? Yeah. Did he kill the driver? Oh no! Stop. Not Leon. Oh no! Oh no! Oh! Christ. Drive. Drive? Why didn't you move the fucking body out of the driver's seat? No. Damn, I like that guy. Yeah, me too. Jesus, everyone's fucking screwing each other over. Yeah. Because I thought the guy in the back seat was the one who hired this team anyways. I didn't think he was like the one that hired, but I thought he was in on it. She sold us out. She got betrayed also. Tout est prêt, Jean-Pierre? Tout est prêt. Oh, he was ready and waiting. Let's go. Yeah. Careful. Oh. Is he still gonna do it himself? I think so. I'm gonna do his routine. Done this many times before. You just make sure you get the bullet before you pry it out. Oh, he's just gonna walk him through it. Over here, just cut up there. Just a little cut. Uh, I mean, you're you're already shot, but still. Let's just put it in. Just, yeah, just now open it up. Spread it. Spread it. Ah. Uh, get the bullet. Remember, don't take it out unless you really got it. <clears throat> you lose it. I'll do it again. Man. Do it again. Just try what's. Oh man, come on, dude. Just really get a hold of this thing. 
When he pulls it off, put the gauze in, there's gonna be a lot of blood. Come on, Vincent, you got it. Oh, put the gauze in. Is that all, all of it? it? You think you can stitch me up on your own? If you don't mind, I'm gonna pass out. <laughs> I'm going to sleep here. <laughs> So maybe, maybe she was in on it. Yeah. I thought she was surprised that the driver died. Yeah. You evil lady. You gonna kill me? No. Oof. I mean, they did talk about torture earlier. Why would I want to kill you? Still need the package. Yeah, we need that case. Why did you have to kill Larry? Clearing up your mess. My mess. It's you that's hiding, isn't it, Seamus? It's you that can't show your face. I mean, she got people on her team that were not qualified or were traitors. And she said they weren't ready. Bien dur, ton requin. Ça, tu l'as dit. Mais c'est qui? C'est pas important. Travaillez pas pour la CIA? CIA. Dans le temps. Plus maintenant. Il m'a sauvé la vie. Je vais te les retrouver. Cool. We got backup from both of them. We'll come tomorrow, I'm sure. Well, I'm sure it will too. So cool. Yeah. The 47 Ronin. Hey, 47 Ronin. <laughs> what are you? A man without a master. Super cool. Uh, the sword goes in here. I wonder how that's gonna play into Yeah, I feel like that's a foreshadowing thing. How did you know it was an ambush? Whenever there's any doubt, there is no doubt. That's the first thing they teach you. Okay. Something feels off, it's already off. Wow. No good things come to those who wait. The location was uh, very correct. And why is Gregor still alive? It's taken up to the package. Oh, arrived. So is this the end of Gregor? I don't know. Oh. I don't really need him anymore, right? How you doing? Ooh. <laughs> One more moment. One more moment. Don't do anything, lady. Oh. You can't. Oh. Get back! Damn it, Sam. Why did you just shoot her? Yeah, dude, you could have just blown her head off. They say this is the channel? I don't know if it's the channel or just a tunnel. Oh. Oh. Cops. Oh. oh. <laughs> Lost a rim already? Oh, at least he got out of the way. <laughs> Almost. <laughs> oh, this is giving me so much anxiety. <laughs> this is a long chase. Come on, come on! Oh, oh damn. Sorry. <laughs> Get out of the way. Uh oh, innocent people are about to get hit. Oh, oh my God. Damn, guy was driving a Pinto. I want to know the death count. <laughs> Just like random people. Shoot back. Uh oh. Ooh. Oh, I landed on sand at least. I think Gregor was the only one that had a seatbelt on, right? <laughs> <laughs> oh, oh no. Are they gonna save the girl? Wow. What a bunch of heroes. 
just saved a bunch of criminals. Yeah, they don't know that though. <laughs> Damn, that long ass chase and everyone just got away. Oh, ice skating. What could he be? Were we following someone else? What? The Irish are looking for him. The Russians are looking for him. So where does he go? Did they not see him right outside? Was that not him? <laughs> so, you're on the run. Where do you go? Isn't he on the run? Where's he been? Where's he been? Where's he been? Where's he been? Oh, okay. So it was a fake out. <sighs> he made the fake case. He had to have had it made. He didn't have time to have it made. He bought something that looked like it. Then he spray painted. He did go to a playground. It's a case for ice skates. Took it from the ice rink. Why ice skates? It was the Russians, right? The Russians made it. We don't have to find Gregor. We find the Russians, they will take us to him. Jean-Pierre says if it's Russian, oh. it's in Paris. Damn, where would they be if they didn't know? So many people. Yeah. Si je devais rencontrer cette semaine des Russes à Paris, j'irais voir du balai sur. It's all coming together. A lot of publicity. It's just gonna walk on in. Une cigarette et je te file un tuyau. Reste à l'écart ces gens-là. Spends every evening in the audience. How the hell did you find that out? We went to high school together. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, first time we saw the AIDS guys together, I thought that was his daughter. Right? Whoa. Who's gonna... Yeah, I don't know. I feel like this is gonna be horrible. So is that guy telling him to leave? I don't know. Oh, he got a note. Is it Skarsgård saying, if you don't pay, I'm gonna kill her? Let's go. Oh. Oh, there's the case. Why do the Russian McGregor's gotta be here, right? The meet is not till later tonight. The meet is now. So then who's got the sniper? You have the money? I have the money. Oh, that wasn't the case. That he it was the, the money. money. Case. These cases all look the same. I'd like to be paid now. Is this real money this time? I have to call within 45 seconds to say that I'm leaving. They'll be unable to call. The friend will be shot. Do you not care about her? 20 seconds. How long is this performance? I know, right? <gasps> oh! Damn! Just shot in the chest? Okay, uh, I guess he cares more about the money in the case than her. Just gonna mix in with the crowd? I guess so. What? <laughs> Everyone is just dying. We still don't even know what's in this case. No, right? And he only took that case. He didn't take the money case, too. Get out of here. Get out of here. Come with me. Forget about the kids. They came for Seamus. Just get out of here. Has he always been left. after Seamus? Don't you see? Oh shit, he's still in the CIA? I did not see that coming. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, Seamus. Your ride left you. Who's this guy? Isn't I don't that know. isn't that his friend who helped him earlier? There. Monsieur, venez ici doucement vers nous. Attendez, attendez. Oh, no! Not Vincent. Oh. 
God damn. You're a dead one. Oh. Is it her? Oh! How? You got shot multiple times. Oh. He still had his back. The apprehension and slaying in France of the Irish terrorist Seamus O'Rourke. Well then. Good knowing you. He's fine? They're both fine? She would not be coming back here, would she? I can't even put my hand in my pocket to pay the bill. <laughs> How convenient. I'll get the next one. What wasn't the case? I don't remember. <laughs> this is number two. Keep in touch. No questions. No answers. You accept it and move on. Maybe that's lesson number three. All right, that was Ronin. What'd you think? I don't know. I don't know. I like loved it until the very end there. It has a very abrupt ending. Yeah. That you don't get answers, kind of, but it plays into that. Yeah. Yeah, it, it's definitely an interesting ending. Yeah, I think it wasn't, I guess it just wasn't what I was expecting. So maybe I just need to like let it settle for a minute. Right, I mean, we're literally 30 seconds away from finishing the movie, so. Or yeah, so I guess start with the cast. Holy cow, I was not expecting this many people in this movie, considering before this was recommended, I had never heard of this. Yeah, I mean, Robert De Niro, uh, I'm gonna say Jean Reno, Jean Reno, something like that. Uh, the lady from the Truman, Natasha something, Sean Bean, Stellan Skarsgård, Jonathan Price, a couple more people. Yeah. Definitely a stacked cast. Yeah. And they were all great. Like there were so many twists and turns. Yeah. And like, who the hell is this person? What's going on? And getting betrayed here and there. I had a fantastic time with this movie. Yeah. But I'm the same way with you where it's just like, oh fuck, it's over. Like I want like 10 more minutes. It was just so chaotic. Um, and like you said, there were so many twists and turns in it. I very much enjoyed the car chase scenes. There was multiple yeah. um, that were really good. So that was a lot of fun to watch. This was definitely a movie that I'm like sitting here like, what is happening? What is happening the whole time? I was stressed out. So it made for a really fun time watching it. Yeah, I mean, the movie keeps you in the dark as much as like the characters are yeah. also. Like yeah. when they were trying to get the case the first time, like. You didn't know where they were gonna ambush, how many people, is there gonna be backup? Like, what's the situation? Then there's issues within the crew, like they don't really know each other. Yeah. Obviously Sean Bean, he survived. He never came back. He never came back, good for him. He, he was not built for this world. <laughs> I don't know how he made it through the initial vetting process. Speaking of Sean Bean, I loved the scene where they just kind of, De Niro just like embarrasses the shit out of him. <laughs> with, the, with the coffee? <laughs> the coffee and uh, just calling out. And he's totally bluffing like when he's, when I don't remember who it was, someone else asked him like, oh, what color is the? Oh, the boathouse or whatever? Yeah, and he's yeah, like, yeah. I don't know. Yeah, that was a great scene. Yeah. And so, I mean, the, the movie just kept you in the dark so well. Yeah. Uh, because the characters were also in the dark and the movie kind of ends that way. And uh, that to me is a crazy to us. The fact that De Niro or Sam wasn't even after the case. Like he was after Seamus and he was still in the CIA. Yes, that should have been the biggest clue was the moment that he got shot and um, Vincent is talking to that guy in the house that they went to and he's like, well, he must be on the run. Right. And they, they let you know that he was CIA. But they played that off so well that I was like, oh yeah, he must be on the run. Yeah, and I was like, how did he, I was even thinking like, what did he do to like no longer be a part of the CIA? Or like, why is he running from the CIA or something? Or yeah. like, I don't know, but no, he was just straight up working that whole time. Yeah, and I guess at no point because of Vincent, like he couldn't get the help that he needed. It would have blown his cover. Right. For him to get help after he got shot. So that whole thing was wild. And so Sam knew from the get go who the boss was. Seamus. Yeah which is crazy because yeah. no one else knew. Like it was like, just like this whole like mystery of who's working from who, who even knows each other, who's calling the shots. And then, I mean, even with Sean Bean, like out of like who recommended these people, are they up to par? 
Yeah, geez, just what a a messy movie. But yeah, like, I like, in a good way. Exactly, like a perfectly messy movie. Yeah, where you're just like, I don't know what's going on, but that was a sick car chase. So <laughs> let's keep it going. This is just honestly something that I immediately want to rewatch because I'm like, okay, let me rewatch this again. I'm gonna get it better the second time around. It was highly entertaining yeah. the entire time uh, because there were so many twists and betrayals. I mean, freaking uh, Skarsgård tried to sell this case multiple times. <laughs> like he tried to sell it to the guy at the playground. He the tried playground thing was absolutely wild. Yeah. Given, I don't think that he was ever actually gonna shoot. Like, cause he was like using it as like a- Bluff. Yeah, or, like, look what I'd be willing to do type of thing. Yeah, like how crazy I am. Um, but still, that was wild. Yeah, he tried to sell it there. So he tried to sell it at the arena. That went terrible. He tried to sell that it- That was like, so gross to me. In the arena? His death. Oh, that's the third time. I was oh. getting, yeah, he, that was the third time. Oh, was, the arena was the- Like the Coliseum yeah, type yeah, of thing. Yeah, okay, okay. No, like at the uh, ice skate. Yeah, I was thinking of the uh, ice yeah. arena. Yeah, he was trying to sell it there and then dude just did not give a fuck about that girl. No. He's like, oh, you got a sniper on her? Okay, I'll let you finish counting and then blow your head off. Yeah, no, he overestimated how much he cared about that girl. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. He did not care about her at all. So maybe if it had actually been his daughter and not his girlfriend, like I thought it was, right. maybe he would have cared more. But no, he didn't care at all. Just that whole ending sequence was just so like deadly. Everybody was dying. <laughs> I mean, throughout this entire movie, like, I mean, they had to have destroyed most of Nice. Nice. Where They went multiple locations yeah. and- And in, Paris. Yeah. Innocent people were dying left, left and right. right. Yeah. <laughs> Just even to the point where you're like, uh oh, someone's about to shoot. I know someone not intended to get shot is about to get shot. Yeah, the one guy in the tunnel got it in the face. Like, there was so many people just getting absolutely wrecked. And then it started going through like the main cast, uh, which I was super bummed. Who was that guy? Larry. So bummed about Larry. I liked him a lot and I feel like we didn't get a lot of him. No, I mean, he had like, the great car chase, but yeah, yeah. then he got his uh, throat slit by Seamus. Yeah, freaking Seamus. The more that I'm like sitting at it, like the more that I like the ending, it's not like I didn't like the ending. It just like the story just is pretty abrupt. Yeah, it just stops. But like, I like the fact that like he told that girl, he obviously liked her and he, like went to her first and was like, just get out of here. Like, yeah. I'm not even after this case. I'm still in the CIA. I'm after your boss, just run. Like it's over, we're, yeah. we, we, had, we got him. Yeah. And I like that she left. And I like that like little moment where they were sitting at that same bar, right? That was yeah, the same bar where the they met. Bar. And they're just kind of like, she's not coming back, is she? It's like, no, like, why would she come back? Yeah, I mean, you gave her the opportunity to escape. She's gone, like, yeah. she's long gone. I loved the Sam Vincent. Friendship. I was just about to say, I, that's my highlight for sure. I'm yeah. so glad that they had like a very immediate connection and that neither of them betrayed each other. Yeah. Like they and were just- And I mean, freaking Vincent was on his deathbed and he still saved Sam. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, they saved each other. Yeah. So that was great. And just for the movie to end with them too. And, you know, even just that little line of like, oh, I'll get the next one. There's probably never going to be a next yeah. one. Yeah. But it's just nice to be like, dang, they. They were like a good duo, a real good duo. And it's crazy because obviously Vincent is a criminal. Yeah. And then you have Sam who is in the CIA. Right. So it's just so cool that they were able to like buddy up like that. And they, I feel like they formed a genuine connection. So I loved that. I think this is an incredible movie, especially when you think of the fact that like neither of us have heard of it. No. And I mean, we've really on the channel, we have watched so much Robert De Niro. So obviously this film has been recommended a ton to us, but I just literally never heard of it. No, never heard of it before. And it's just, it's too good to like a, be a, a movie that you haven't heard of. Like yeah. there's Robert De Niro movies that even if you've never seen, you know, a movie of with like Robert De Niro. This, I feel like, should be on that list. I'm yeah. like, oh, of course I've heard of Ronin, even if you haven't seen it. Yeah. Because it was just so fun. I mean, there was even moments where it reminded me of um, Heat. 
you even commented on it, like the lack of music at certain points. Yes. And just the like the public warfare, yeah. essentially. Yeah. It was always in a crowded, like popular place. Yeah. And they were just lighting each other up. Cars are blowing up. People are getting shot left and right. People have giant machine guns. The action felt very like real and realistic. Yes. Like people are shooting at each other for a, a significant amount of time without even hitting each other, which I feel like that's probably more realistic. Yeah, rather than just like, boom, 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 and everyone's dead. Yeah, like, especially the first ambush scene, yeah. when it's just Vincent and Sam taking out those two cars, like, yeah. that was really cool. And then when they finally pin the, the bad guy and stuff, and uh, Sam comes out with a giant ass machine gun, and they all just pull up, like, it was uh, just very, I guess the best way I could say is just realistic action, and, that makes it cool in its entirely own way. Yeah. Because this is a movie, I guess, 1998, and everything felt real. Obviously, this is probably pre a lot of heavy CGI influence, but like when cars are smashing into each other, it felt like, damn, they're just slamming cars left and right. I'm very curious how much this cost, because I feel like they did a lot of damage to a lot of cars, to some buildings. There were some bridges. good explosions. Yeah. yeah. I am very curious just the cost of this. Yeah, because uh, the action was was awesome. And I, I think just the overall vibe of the movie. Yeah. Be, like I said, because you were so unsure of things, like very simple situations were still like highly stressful. Like the first uh, exchange with uh, money for like the guns that they were buying, or whatever. Oh yeah. Where he like uh, De Niro saw the sniper on the bridge and yes. stuff. Like that was such a stressful situation, even to like the point where the characters themselves are like, this is not good. <laughs> like we should not be doing this. Yeah, no, I mean, it kicked off like hot. And even in that bar that they ended up in the end, at the beginning, that was a very stressful situation. Everyone's like slowly coming in. It's like, What's about to happen here? It seems odd. And you have obviously that big thing in the, uh, the little spiel in the beginning about Ronan. So it's like, where is this coming into play? Like when I see Ronan, I'm thinking like a single person, but I think they're like all Ronan. I guess it's the... It's like the type of person that you are, I guess like a soldier with no master or a samurai with no master. Yeah, but I'm saying like Ronan, I think is could be singular or plural. Yeah you think like, oh, well, Sam still works for the CIA, but then at the little uh, narration thing at the end, they said that he was kind of like a rogue agent. Sam was? Yeah. Oh, I thought they were saying um, Seamus was a rogue. Oh. He used to be for like the Irish something, oh, but he oh, went oh. he went rogue. So oh. I think that's why Sam was hunting him down. Got it, got it, got it. I thought Sam was like on the case and they took him off and he just like was going for oh, it. Oh, gotcha. But no, that makes more sense. <laughs> So I'm telling you, the end of that just was like a whiplash. It was like over and I was like, wait a minute. Well, like seven people died in like the last four minutes of the movie. Yeah, and then it, yeah, everyone's leaving each other. And yeah. Yeah. Uh, but that's a good point. Like even the very first couple of minutes of the movie, you don't know what's going on. Yeah. And it has a very weird vibe. You think there's about to be like a shootout. Characters look super suspicious. And yeah. then you also learn a little bit about Sam. Like he scopes the place out. He unlocks the door for himself. He hides a gun. Like he's very suspicious. Um, and that just set the stage for the rest of the movie to just be suspicious of everyone pretty much. Yeah. Yeah. You can't trust anyone. And then we're not getting much from anyone. No, no, very <laughs> like you'll find out what I find out. Well, damn, fucking find out. <laughs> yeah, let us know what's going on here. Also loved that scene with Sam like renegotiating. Yeah. That was cool. Yeah, the uh, renegotiation was good. And also I really loved when uh, Sam and Deirdre went <laughs> on like the scouting mission to the hotel and like she pretended to be the wife. And oh she yeah, was so, she's like, so <laughs> awkward like yeah, like a robot, but like the whole like trick with the camera. Yes, that was so good, so clever. Yeah, so I mean, this movie just had so many great things. The action was amazing. The car chases were amazing. The twists and the turns, the suspense, uh, the characters, all of the acting. Like there is very little you can say negatively about this movie other than maybe if you want to nitpick the like abrupt ending. But then I feel like that also kind of works because the whole movie is kind of like 
mysterious and you don't really get the full answer and stuff. Yeah. So I mean, they tied it in, I think, with Vincent's speech at the end there. Exactly. It was yeah. like perfect for what he was saying. But like, I wanted more and I want to know what was in that freaking case. Right. I know. It doesn't matter now. Matters Probably to me. Probably some, some pictures. Some like damning evidence of some president or something like that. Overall, that was such a fantastic like action movie. It was so suspenseful. Obviously, thriller aspect of it kept me on my toes. And uh, the action sequences, car chase sequences, the violence. <laughs> yeah, the, the amount of carnage to civilians, top tier. <laughs> Um, it, it honestly felt like a like two hour long heist movie. It did, it did. It felt like it was a pretty long movie, like not in a bad way, but it just, cause there was so much going on, but they were able to squeeze that in in like two hours. So such a great time. I feel like this is uh, a very slept on movie and that experience is only because we have not heard, on it, heard of it. Yeah, I mean, maybe this is super popular. So. Yeah, it could be an incredibly popular movie for all we know. But if it's not, it definitely deserves to be because yeah. everything in this movie still holds up to uh, today's standards of what a great movie is. Yeah. So this was awesome. No, for sure. So thanks to our patrons for voting for this to win our heist poll. This was great. Uh, let us know if there's some other heist movies that we should get on a poll or that we should just watch because we love this genre. Yeah, excellent. So if you'd like to see the full length reaction for this, as well as everything else that we've reacted to, the link to our Patreon is in the description. If you'd like to interact with us and any other types of social media, all those links in the description as well. And with that, peace everyone. Bye. What happened? I did peace too. Oh, that's fine. Peace everyone. Bye. Bye. <laughs>